All right, what's up, everybody? It's Curtis. Um, here today with my friend Lance. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. Good, good, cool. So um, today we um, thought that we would do something pretty totally different here um, that most people haven't done before, and that's like doing. We're both going to do our coming out videos. Uh, so we figured that we both do ours at the same time. It's going to be kind of impromptu. Um, I sort of came out when I was like 25 and, um, the thing is, is that I didn't come out to anybody, but I actually got outed by one of my best friends that was my roommate at the time. So go figure. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, the, the way it happened is, um, when I got outed, I was with my mom and my brother. And we uh, <clears throat> were talking, and then of course my roommate was with us at the time. We were having dinner, and he was throwing, you know, like those little, you know, tidbit, you know, hints and everything at them, and they were like so freaking confused, like they don't even know how to respond to them. <laughs> so it's like uh, they kind of got the clue finally. My brother finally got the clue on it. And so they didn't say nothing about it. And then, um, and then like the next day, uh, my mom, she, her and I, we actually sat down and we talked about it, about me being gay. And uh, she asked me, you know, what he was talking about, uh, you know, what he was talking about. And I kind of had to like explain it to her that, well, he's talking about, you know, guys being with guys. And she was like, so he's like making stories that you're seeing guys. And I kind of like, well, yes, uh, she, he actually is, you know, making, you know, stories about me being with guys. I was like, and it's actually true. I was like, I am gay. So it actually took a while from that point that uh, she kind of finally accepted it eventually, finally. And, uh, and we're just like really close about it. My brother, I really don't uh, talk to him much about it other than that he knows. So it's like the only two people that really know my kind is just my mom and my brother. And of course I have my nieces and my nephews that know, but that's pretty much the extent of it. And still to this day, I get outed out <laughs> everywhere I go. Like even at work, I got outed on the first day of training. <laughs> it was crazy. Some of us can't really hide it. No, <laughs> I had it. I had it very well. I was like, um, but still, it's like people just amazingly just out me out, and I'm like, okay, I'm not that not ashamed about everything. I just, yeah. I don't broadcast it out, you know, being gay or anything. I guess you could say that I'm kind of more um, straight acting gay. I guess I'm more macho gay. I guess. Well, you have your moments. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> macho moments. Hey! <laughs> like that? Like that one? <laughs> yeah. Dang. Oh my god. <clears throat> um, mine is slightly different. Um, Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was actually uh, raised Pentecostal, a form of uh, Pentecost called Apostolic. Um, so, you know, for those of you that don't know what that is, um, Long sleeves all year, pants, you know, guys have to keep their hair cut short, girls, no makeup, can't ever cut their hair, long sleeves, skirts down to the ankles, no splits, um, no television in the home or, uh, most of my life because mom said it was the devil's eye. Um, so I, I knew at a, I knew at a very, like it's Amish. I know, <laughs> um, they're definitely a different breed, but, um, I guess then again, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, so I, I knew since I was really little, I've always known what I wanted, and I've always looked at females as being like the hottest female. I like I saw her as being a friend. Um, I've always been attracted to guys. Mine was actually. Um, around whenever I was 18, uh, a friend of mine 
that uh, I went to school with, um, she, for some odd reason, randomly told my mom about me one day, and uh, I don't know, it, it, it made me really upset, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad that she did. Um, me and her are actually really close nowadays. Um, <laughs> shout out to Marcella, I love you. Um, <clears throat> um, so she, like I said, she told my mom, and my mom immediately came to me, and I was already moved out, um, at that time, and, um, I got my first place almost two weeks to the day after my 18th birthday. Um, my mom immediately came straight to my apartment, and for some odd reason, I had a feeling that, that she was going to be coming over, just our conversation we had had earlier that day. Um, it was really hard on me. I, because I, I didn't want her to know, but yet I did, you know, and I don't know, coming out for someone is extremely hard, but it's something that has to happen. Um, my mother came to my apartment for days and days, um, literally every single day, sometimes two or three times a day, knocking and knocking and knocking on my door, um, crying on the other side of the door, and telling me that she wanted to talk to me, and that she knew, and she kept telling me that she still loved me, and that, you know, she just wanted to, you know, be there for me, but I, for some reason, like, I couldn't face her, um, as she was on the other side of the door knocking and crying and saying, Lance, please let me in, I know you're in there. I was on the other side of the door, sometimes peeking through the peek hole at her, and sometimes just leaning against the back of the door, and I just remember so many times I slid my body down, like, I slid my body down the doorway so slowly and just, like, sit there on the other side of the door crying as my mom's crying on the other side. I just, I couldn't do it, I couldn't face her, I couldn't wake up, like, and, and realize that this is what needed to happen, and, um, eventually, um, I ended up talking to her away from my apartment, and, uh, it got really emotional, and, just like I'm getting right now, <laughs> and, uh, I don't have any tissues here, sorry. I know. <laughs> Yang, you don't have a tissue? God. Um, no, I finally, um, I finally opened up and talked to her about it, and uh, things seemed to be slightly better after that. Um, in the beginning, she didn't know how to handle it, and because of uh, my religious background, she kept saying how... Um, she, it almost seemed like she loved to tell me about how much I was going to hell. Um, so I mean, that hurt coming from my own mother and stuff, and, um, she's, over time, I'm uh, recently 27 now, and so I've been out for almost a decade now. Um, slowly over time, she's getting used to it, and she's told me, you know, we've gotten a lot closer than we were before. And she's told me that uh, no matter what happens, I mean, I'll always be her son, and she's always gonna be there for me and love me. So um, that's kind of how mine happened. Um, <laughs> most of my friends and stuff, they already knew. I only told a select few. Um, I wasn't like they said. I always like made her act like it because I guess the way I walk, I had more swing than a. I don't know than any female they knew, but, um... You get the swing like a Lady a little, Gaga. A little swing in my step, I guess. <laughs> right. Um, of course, they say that, like, um, because once you, like, come out to someone, not much like, you know, your family, but if you, like, come out to your friends, that's pretty much all you have to do is, like, do it once, and then it pretty much just spreads, it's like, spread, wow. yeah. So, it's... She said she always knew. She was just waiting on me to say something. Yeah, so... Um, you know, the, the hardest part is, like, coming out to, you know, your own family. Um, of course, you, like, don't know who to come out to, and usually, the, mostly people is, like, you know, uh, gays and lesbians, you know, they will come out to, you know, the people that they're most closest to, mm -hmm. you know, they, they have more connection.
connection with, whether it be their mom or their dad or their brother or sister. Um, but friends on the other hand, it's a little bit different, obviously, because, you know, once you tell one person, you've already told the whole, you've already told all your friends. Yeah. It doesn't only take one person. So. I know, people have mouths nowadays. So. <laughs> uh, it's amazing how they use their mouths in other ways other than just one thing. <laughs> Hashtag thought you knew. If it, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag I was I, oblivious. <laughs> I, I loved it whenever I came out to my sister because she, the very first thing she said back to me was, really that was what you had to tell me? Girl, I already knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty amazing because they're like, we knew. I like, we were just waiting for you to tell us. Yeah. I'm like, really? Like, you could just save me the grief and just tell me, like, um, do you want to tell me if you're gay or not? So, yeah. Um, so, uh, I guess, like, you came out when you was 18. And, of course, I came out at such an older age because I didn't have a need to, like, tell anybody. I just kind of kept to myself. You know, and I just kind of anticipated, like, if it happens, it happens type attitude. Yeah. You know, if somebody asks me if I'm gay, then I'm not going to just, like, say, no, I'm not. You know, I'm just going to be honest with them and just tell them, you know, how it is. What kind of advices would you, like, give to people that are, like, trying to come out? Um, my advice would be to honestly just be yourself. Um, totally. People are not going to accept you for you if you're trying to act like something you're not. Um, you've got to show them who you are from the beginning, um, which is what I should have done. Um, no matter what, you shouldn't be afraid of, um, well, my family's major religious, or my dad will hate me for the rest of my life, or there people, people reject the unfamiliar, um, so you've just got to... All you gotta do is just introduce yourself and um, take it from there. I mean, if, if they don't, I mean, I kind of look at it like if someone doesn't want to talk to you, there are, what, how many other people in this world to talk to? So Millions. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, it's, it's not going to be a big loss. You're, you know, obviously going to be better off without them than if they don't accept you for you. Um, and you can just move on to someone else that, you know, find some good friends that will actually accept you for you and will be a really good friend to you and be there and be strong for you. Mm -hmm. So that's what you need is, is strong influence and people around. Yeah, definitely. Having, having as many, you know, friends that will have be behind your back is, is very important. Definitely. And, um, I guess other advice is like, um, that I would give is, you know, uh, definitely be yourself and uh, don't be afraid to, um, you know, express yourself, you know, your feelings. Um, but definitely don't act like that you're trying to be someone else, you know, because uh, that just makes, you know, it just more difficult for you and, and awkward for yourself. Just be who you want, just be who you are as yourself and, um, and then keep in mind that whatever the outcome is, just be prepared that, you know, you, you just need to be prepared, prepared of what the outcome may be, whether if it's going to be good or bad, and then just kind of go from there. Um, because you can't control, you know, the other person's, you know, opinion or their feelings. You know, I've seen like, or well, not seen, but heard stories of like, you know kids like as young as what 16 13 coming out to their families and then they get you know kicked out of their homes because they don't care for them and love them anymore which is very sad so this is our uh, so this was our first kind of collab video um, I kind of thought of the idea of doing this coming out story together be, um, just trying to be a little bit different uh, from, you know, all the other, you know, YouTube videos that are out there. Um, and of course, you know, watching a lot of them, it's very inspiring. Um, so, you know, definitely check it out. You know, there's other videos out there of coming out stories and 
you know, I thought that this would be pretty cool to just like, you know, two people doing it together, you know, on YouTube and, uh, and everything. So, uh, anyways, you got a YouTube channel. I do. Yeah. What's um, your thing? Obviously, YouTube.com slash uh, Rainbow Baby 1987. So we'll put a little hashtag. Yeah, put a little, <laughs> a little hashtag right there. Or annotation, annotation. That's what <laughs> yeah. I Sever 1997 right. right here. Yeah. It's cool. So, yeah. So feel free to check out his uh, YouTube channel um, and all that. Um, and then... Uh, Follow us, you know, um, you, you're on Twitter and Facebook, obviously. Um, I don't have a Twitter, but I have Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, you don't, all that. You don't I have don't, a Twitter? I, I will not have a Twitter. How can you not? How can you I not will not have, have a Twitter. <laughs> um, <laughs> all of them, uh, Rainbow Baby 1987. Cool. Um, I'm also on Facebook, also, um, Sever uh sever 1997 um for twitter um and uh sever 78 for well i'll Facebook. put all this in the description below yes so. definitely <laughs> definitely um also i'm still raising funds for my uh for my youtube channel uh so i'll put the link for that in the uh, description so um i appreciate you know any help with donations uh that you want to give to help me expand my youtube channel um and then also give this a big thumbs up uh, and like, uh, subscribe to both of us. And on that note, I will see you on the flip side. Peace. Bye.